Hey Siri. The reason I started YouTube in English, even though it's not my first language, was the thought that it might help improve my English skills since I first talk. Refining sentences, adding subtitles, and recording voiceovers takes a lot more time than I expected. And talking to a camera in English still isn't easy for me. Then I had a thought, what if I cloned my voice? That way, instead of recording my voice every time, I could then input the script and the saved voice would read the sentences for me. The mic I had back then wasn't great or anything, but I gave it my best shot and recorded some voice samples anyway. Good morning, everyone. Good morning, everyone. Can you do this? Can you do this? Hey, Siri. Hey, Siri. I gave it a try with a section from the episode I was working on at the time. As I strode across the bridge, the sound of a bustling street performance caught my attention, and I couldn't resist but take a peek at the spectacle. As I strode across the bridge, the sound of a bustling street performance caught my attention, and I couldn't resist but take a peek at the spectacle. The problem wasn't the crappy mic, it was my lousy pronunciation. I gave it another try with one of the provided sample voices. As I strode across the bridge, the sound of a bustling street performance caught my attention, and I couldn't resist but take a peek at the spectacle. It was, of course, money that made me really buckle down and work on my pronunciation. I like to think that if I just keep at it, someday speaking English will feel natural. And maybe one day, I'll even be able to talk in English comfortably in front of the camera. It feels like the world is changing so fast these days. I can't help but wonder what will be different this time next year. It's exciting, but also kind of scary. <laughs>